looks like we just got paid. And the studio knows it, but how does the studio know it? The answer to that is super interesting and shows the true power of Superbase in an event-driven architecture where messages need to be sent between different systems. So let's get into it. So we have our synths and our lights, and somewhere out on the internet, we have Stripe and we just received a payment. So how does this get from Stripe to our synthesizers and lights? Well, we have a Superbase project in the middle, and this is acting a little bit like the brain of the entire system. It can coordinate messages between these other bits. So Superbase is listening for those payments in Stripe. It's also connected to a Next.js app, which tells the synths and lights what to do. So our customer pays for something in Stripe, that gets sent to Superbase, Superbase tells our Next.js app, and our Next.js app tells our lights and synthesizers to go nuts. And we all get very excited, and hopefully super rich. But this same pattern can be applied to any event-driven architecture where you have different systems or microservices that need to tell other things when something happens. So we're gonna cover each of these scenarios and look at which tools you should reach for to solve that kind of problem. Now this first one is perfect if the system you're connecting to has webhooks. So different events you can subscribe to, like our example in Stripe, where we're subscribing to that new payment event. So here we have our edge function, which works out which event we're currently getting from Stripe. And then if it is a payment that has succeeded, we're writing that new payment to Superbase. So let's tell Stripe to call this edge function anytime we have a webhook event. So over in the Stripe dashboard, we're going to add a new webhook. We can choose which events we actually care about. And so, oh boy, there's a lot of events. Under payment intent, we only care about when the payment intent has succeeded. So let's continue. And then we want to send these webhook events to a hosted endpoint, which is going to be our edge function. So let's continue. We then need the URL of our edge function, which we can get under details and our endpoint URL. So let's click to copy and paste that one in here and create that destination. Now I've already configured some environment variables to streamline connecting to these systems for this video, but every time we create a new webhook in Stripe, we get a new signing secret. So let's reveal that one and then copy and then paste it over in Superbase. The name for this one is going to be Stripe webhook secret and then paste in that value and save. And we want to replace that secret. And now everything should be connected from our Stripe webhook through to our Superbase project. So if we trigger that payment succeeded event using this shell down the bottom and the Stripe trigger function. And if we go over to our Superbase project and have a look at the table editor, that payments table that was being used by our edge function has been automatically populated with that new payment of $20 USD. So we've been able to subscribe to those events in Stripe, and when we get a new payment, write that information to Superbase. But again, this only works if that system has webhooks. But what if it just has an API that you need to poll constantly for changes? A good example of this is the YouTube API. Let's say we also want a big celebration of flashing lights and synthesizers anytime we get a new subscriber in YouTube. There's no way for us to subscribe to those new subscriber events with the YouTube API, we just have to keep polling and asking, has anything changed? Has anything changed? And so let's look at how you would handle that scenario where you don't have a webhook that you can subscribe to. So again, we're going to use an edge function for this. This one is making a fetch request to the YouTube API and then pulling out the subscribe account from that response and writing it to Superbase but we don't want to have to manually invoke this edge function. We want it to automatically be called on some kind of recurring schedule. And for that, we have cron. And so this is under integrations. If you haven't installed it yet, you can search through all of our integrations for cron and then enable it. And then we can look at our jobs and create a new job. We'll call this one poll YouTube API every minute. We can then 
write this intimidating looking expression if you understand cron schedules, or you can use natural language to describe it. So let's say every minute, which conveniently is just star 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 star. We then have different actions that we can perform every minute, and so we want to call our superbase edge function. We then get a list of our different edge functions that we could call. For this one we want to get our YouTube stats, and then when we create this cron job, it's going to automatically run every minute. So if we have a look over at the table editor and our YouTube stats, we've currently got our subscribers set to 50. Pretty low, I know, but I think in about a minute we might get 60,000 or so. And so let's refresh this table, and there we go. 62,700 subscribers in just one minute. That's pretty incredible. So we know when we get new subscribers in YouTube, and we know when we get new payments in Stripe, but what if we want to send that information to another system? So we want the rest of the team to be able to celebrate when we get a new payment in Stripe or a new subscriber on YouTube. Let's post it to the company Slack so we can all share in that celebration. And for that, Superbase has its own implementation of webhooks. So whenever something changes in Superbase, we can call another external endpoint somewhere else, like the Slack API, for example, which is exactly what this edge function does right here. Hopefully you're starting to get like how powerful edge functions are and how much they are like the glue that stick all of these other pieces of Superbase together. So when a new record gets added to the payments table, we'll do a little bit of formatting of our message. So it includes the amount of that payment and also the currency. We then make a fetch call to the Slack webhook URL and pass across that payload. So we want to automatically call this edge function anytime we add a new row to the payments table. So again, under integrations, we have database webhooks, or you can search for it if you haven't installed it yet. But once it's installed, we can create a new webhook that will send payment to Slack. We give it the table that we want to listen to. So in this case, our payments table, we can then subscribe to particular events. So insert, update, or delete. We're inserting a new row for each payment. So we only really care about the insert event. And again, we have a couple of different actions that we can perform. Since we have our edge function that's doing that nice formatting of our message, that's the one we want to call. So the Slack Messenger edge function. So let's create that webhook. And now when we trigger that payment in Stripe, I legitimately forgot that was going to happen. Uh, we get the light show, we get the sound show, and we also get a new payment message. And that message is automatically posted to our Slack channel so the rest of the team can celebrate with us. So lastly, the super fun bit that makes the studio dance is using real time to subscribe our client applications to any of those changes in Superbase. So when we get that new payment from Stripe, we want to tell our Next.js app that something has happened. And this is our Next.js application. It's subscribing to changes in Postgres, specifically on the payments table and the insert event. So anytime a new payment is inserted, this function will be called, which plays MIDI notes and toggles the lights. To play the MIDI notes, we're using the Web MIDI API to iterate over all of our MIDI devices. And for each one, tell it to play this ridiculous chord and then after five seconds, tell them all to stop playing. And we're doing a similar pattern for how we make the lights flash. So let's see it one more time when we receive a new payment in Stripe. We get the lights, we get the synths, and we also get a new message posted to our Slack channel. So Superbase has you covered if you want to subscribe to webhook events from other systems or poll systems that haven't implemented webhooks yet, or send webhook events from Superbase to some other system, or subscribe your client applications directly to those changes in Superbase. Now, if you want to see some other super powerful things that Superbase can do, then you should definitely check out this video right here. Tyler dives deep on search and shows how to match maybe the things the user was trying to find rather than the specific thing that they typed in. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.